I don't want to believe all this magenius motivational speech advice and all that he's been doing for Liema is all about, I don't know, he has feelings for her or yeah, no doubts or he's actually because uh, after their discussion last night, the mood I saw them in, both himself and Liema were in the toilet together. In fact, they had kissed and in fact, guys, it's like I'm going to allow you guys to watch this clip before... I see what I want to say. You know, since morning, Jerry has been mad because of the Mac Junior. He's just like, let me allow you guys to watch this. It's quite big. Yeah. Why is it so hard? Anyway, guys, um, Mac Junior and Liema's story or case is not new. Even from the first time, that Jerry started misbehaving. Forgive my manners. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you guys doing? Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I love you guys so much. And do have a blessed day. So you guys, I'm trying to say that Mac Junior and Liema have really been a thing right from time. There is this friendship between them that yet to be um, unraveled. And I think we are getting to see this whole thing right now you guys know each time lema is down one person she feels so free so safe to talk to is mac junior or sinai yeah you could, that's yeah, i think most of the time is mac junior we've seen her several with mac junior talking you know laughing but i didn't want to believe that maybe mac junior had feelings for her or it might get to this point because I wouldn't really want, I would just want Liema with Mac Junior as a friend. Because I haven't listened to Mac Junior's discussion one time with Neo when um, he was Neo's deputy. Mm, really show the kind of person that he is. I don't think he may still be that perfect person you mean you need in relationship because he may also get his own. That can be a lot too. Okay. And he he's this type that's maybe because i know when lema was trying to like open her a uh, jacket and he was like um why are you showing it now i know you've not been showing so i don't think he's that type that would want that would tolerate you moving anyhow or doing some sort of things he may be mean low key so guys coming to this gist you guys know after the senegalese of last night after the issue lema had with jared and Lema and Mac Junior because Mac Junior had cooked for her earlier. So been, they had this discussion. Mpumi came and joined and you know Mpumi wants to get info. That's just her own anywhere discussion. She just wants to be part of that discussion. She wants to get info. Okay. So when they came, they were just talking, saying all sorts of things. You know, Mac Junior was telling her that uh, she would go back to Jerry and maybe when they get out, he would be like, you know, be you know, bashing her like every other day as in be knocking her every rec on a regular basis. Lema said, no, all those things is not going to happen. Like she's walked out of it. She's not going back and all that. So they were all talking and they brought in the puppy situation because Jared is acting like it's the puppy thing that is making him go gaga. Meanwhile, since morning, he has been behaving somehow because the previous night, um, like he had the conversation between Lema and Mac Junior, or I think Impumi told him. So he woke up that morning. He was just acting weird towards Mac Junior. He wasn't talking to him. So I think accumulated. But why is he going gaga when he's doing the same thing? So you know, they were just chatting. Lema brought in puppy kids that um they asked if he, she enjoyed it. She said yes. It was good. La 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 la. So Mpumi became interested in that and was asking her, so is he a good um this kisser than Jerry? She said no, she could she can't answer. And Pumi was like, But we can't talk. I said, Thank God Lema you did not answer because Mpumi is trying to get something she may use against you tomorrow. Who knows? Or she may not just keep it to her consumption alone and may show or may tell it to another person. Okay. So because they are all playing a game. You can't trust even the Mpumi. Because while she was um, in the kitchen talking with Els, the things she was saying. So you don't trust anyone. Everybody is just looking for their own way. The discussion continued. It continued until a point 
um i saw liema with okay when she left you know marginal when she left to so pumi was left alone there she told marginal she was going to come back i think at that point she had met papi because papi and z also had their own little uh, you know case okay but you know their own will not escalate and everybody will see or here so he showed where she was with papi papi was schooling her on emotional intelligence papi was talking to liema on how to like hold herself how to control herself like not in a party you see jerry dancing with another girl holding her next thing your mood changes and you want to do something you go there that it is wrong for her because if she does this once twice and jerry gives um like apollo or if jerry does it and he keeps apologizing and you keep accepting him back that that's one thing with men they will continue doing it as long as they keep coming back to you to apologize and you keep accepting them so they've known your weakness to keep doing it and keep apologizing to you so but papi told her that he himself doesn't really react to things that much if if she has watched him that he doesn't really react to things that much okay but I said, yeah, he's somebody that likes you that will tell you all this. Papi said he has also been telling her that, you know, like these anger issues, they keep saying she has that. It's true. It's not a lie. It's true. Because even while Jerry moved somehow with him, Pumi yesterday, Liam has moved. These are things she needs to work on because it will all not only, um, it will not only, um, like be, I can it will not only put you in such a way, but it can scare men away from you because by the time you don't need to one person, two persons, or that person comes to see, it might cause a lot of chaos or trouble along the way. Okay, even in the person's career, people will not want to come close to you because of they know you will easily like be triggered and so puppy schooled her on that. So later finally that night, hey <laughs> ah. Uh, yeah, man, Jerry, and the, what's his name? Magina went to the locker room. From the locker room, yes, that thing. we went to be, we were in the same toilet together. That was when um, Lema started selling him. Okay, then, you know, they were just talking. Initially, I didn't know it was, ah. they were talking, you know, Lema was like, ah. okay, Magina first asked her, like, she likes them big or something. Like, she said, yeah. He said, wow, it's quite big. And that was when she told Mark Jr. to kiss her. Okay. Before then, before then, there was a sound. They weren't talking. There was a sound. I thought they had done that earlier. And maybe she asked him to do it again. Okay. He told Mark Jr. to kiss her. And which I believe he did. Because Mark Jr. I don't know if you guys saw Mark Jr. with Fahima then. <laughs> Mark Jr. is low key. He will low. He will. Seriously. Honestly, he will. So, you know, they were just talking, um, Lema was asking him, why is it so hard? Maybe referring to the D. Why is it so hard? Martina said, he doesn't know. Lema was like, uh, is it how he's been handling it or is it how? That was the way she put it. And so, later, the, okay, my, Lema said she doesn't really want to stay in that for so long, kind of. The letter stepped out, went back to the locker room and they hugged in the locker room. So, if, they hugged in the locker room. So definitely, they had their thing in the toilet. But my thing is, I, Lima, I think is you should play a solo game. Because if you just move on with Marginia, it will look as if, okay, you've actually been wanting this thing for so long. Or you even, you're even happy with everything that is happening. Or that's how you may look cheap. That's just my own take. You know, I don't think she should be entangled with anyone. Right now, even if just even if she you feel like you want to flirt, just do it, but don't go too deep because it will be like, oh, you can't stay without a man, or you can't do this, or Jerry was right all along, you were a liar, you're being busy doing this and that with guys and all that, and it will make you look so cheap. Yeah, they they will perceive you as cheap. Meanwhile, people have already started questioning that why do people keep saying Lema is twenty two when neo is just 21 and some of these things they can beat their chest to say no neo can't do it to me i feel you can play a solo game and have a good bond with marginal but this the way i look at marginal i think marginal i used to think marginal takes lemma like oh that kid sees and all that but it's like feelings are involved though seriously it's like feelings are involved and it's like he likes fair ladies because you can know fahima this lemma now mm -hmm. i don't really know anyway 
I don't really know for Mac Jr. So you guys, that was just what happened last night. Too. I said, okay, so all this motivational speaking, all this coaching, all this is going to end somewhere. So that means if Jared leaves today, hmm, Lemma is not going to be bored at all. Mac Jr. is there for her, but it's no longer... Is I think it's moving out of the friendship zone now to a more deeper thing. I think so. Or could it, could I blame it on alcohol? Or let's just see. You know, later she will start regretting. Let's see what happens today. But I just hope that um, Lema won't be disqualified or because of everything that happened. Because she she called um she told Jared with your micro D. You know, which is not okay. But I like the fact that Papi did a good job because that's what an honest person should do. Though sometimes when you come out to say the truth, fans wouldn't want no tell the person the truth so that it can help the person. Tomorrow you can't say, Ah, we love you like that. You have a child or you have a, a somebody, a sibling who behaves in a way and you say they yeah, we like her like that. No, all you need is just to like Tell the person, do this, do that, or this way you're going isn't good. And that was exactly what Papi has done. I'm also waiting for Mac Junior to do the same. <laughs> Mac Junior is always talking about she leaving the triangle, she leaving Jerry. She leaving Jerry and, you know, I don't know if it's because he wants to step in or what. I don't know whatever it is. But I think Marjino should also tell Niema on, just like Papi has done or some things. Just walk away. Pretend like you didn't see. Don't even react. Don't even let him give him some space. Give uh, whoever you're with some space. He can talk to anybody. He can dance with anybody. You guys see the way Lerato has been managing ghosts with all the things she does. Yeah, it might pain you, but at that point, at that point, because it may actually be a closed door for the person. People will be like, no, I don't want to see with this person because of this, because of that. So you guys, that's just that for that okay don't forget to give you give the video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next one and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel i love you guys bye